Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel here at our channel. We are looking for interesting buy opportunities for you as by stocks. Today we will talk about Madru Capital Acquisition Corporation traded at Nasdaq, ticker name MUDS. Well, uh, Madru Capital uh, today was significantly declining, actually uh, showing minus 15 Zero eight zero eight percent and finishing at eleven fifty nine. After hours, we see some slight elevation, which might be again uh, tomorrow the case. So we might have um, red white, but the white will be smaller. In general, this is of course not a technical, but it's actually a very interesting combination. It's both technically induced, but also mainly news induced. In, so uh, if you look at the previous candles here um, that we were seeing a few days ago. Overall, you can see that what was happening, it was actually a classical channel formation here. Uh, if we don't speak first about news, so let's first forget about news and let's talk what we, we would expect or could expect here in general from the technical point of view. And of course, from the technical point of view, yeah, you can see that at the moment, uh, what we should have been observing here is the rebounds downwards in the current channel because here we were in the vicinity of moving average uh, 20 the green line several times we had quite high uh, shadows here upward shadows last uh, previous two three trading sessions ago and this was a clear indication that we are going to go lower to the bottom of the channel but it was expected to go slowly with several days maybe a couple of weeks as it we were seeing the similar action here by uh, from 7th of March uh, of May, sorry, all, all the way. But because of the news, we had this to happen very fast within one day action. And of course, now the question is what's going to be happening next. And most probably, uh, yeah, the news is there, but I don't expect this really to go lower. Most probably we will slide down further with the lower part of the channel. And then once the news will be understood and kind of uh, assumed, in the brain, it will actually uh, cause next uh, push back towards the top of the current channel. So I don't expect the breakout anywhere downwards or upwards, but still trading within the channel. What does it mean? Still trading within the channel, it means that you can always buy the lower part of the descending channel and sell it at the higher part of the descending channel, making quite nice uh, profit here. Therefore, uh, if you would trade here and you would think to buy, of course, the very uh, the best way to buy here and the very first level to buy would be, of course, uh, within the current levels, which we've also formed previously. So this channel most probably will be trading tomorrow. We still might slide down. We will talk about how to trade if we slide down further. But if we have immediately a red-white combination, then you can buy within the current channel tomorrow already and we will talk later how to buy through. So the first level therefore would be the first technical pattern, the primary one, 11.35 and 11.99 here. So let's write it here for us as a note. And if we are there, you can take the profit from this. And speaking of profit, of course, still here, it's a bit news related. So I would be cautious and the profit taking would be advised from 10 to 15% from the money allocated in the position. And then speaking of the level, uh, let's make the first call out for the current level. So 11.35 uh, to 11.99. So this would be expected as a first primary uh, pattern where you can buy the uh, actually buying through channel and then we can rebounce all the way towards the top of the, this descending gray dark channel. If we still slide down further, which is also possible, well, then we can uh, keep some funds to buy lower because here is a very nice, very strong actually uh, support line, although it's uh, a bit broad relatively, but still quite nice. So let's demagnify a little bit to see where we are. So this would be the second channel to buy through if we slide down further and um, the second channel. So the uh, second technical, if the primary one is broken, then will be between 10 and actually 10.75. So this would be Second opportunity where you can buy, still hoping to rebounce and trade within the given descending gray dark channel. And then you can still make the target profit 10 to 15% from the money allocated in the position. And of course, if we go to the second channel, this will be more money because more money will be allocated in the position. So these are two levels to buy. And of course, the third one we always keep for so-called um, risk mitigation. Although today it happened already, the news-based reaction we, we see. But still, the third level is more for risk mitigation, not really technically, let's say, 
uh, depicted, defined, and actually for that one we can just look at the lower part that was seen here, the lowest levels, which is then in the vicinity of uh, 969 for this one. So anything that goes lower than 969 would be another buy, and this will be actually the level where we can start buying to mitigate any news related or negative catalyst, so-called negative catalyst related news. Um, news here, so what does it mean? It means that if there is any um, company again related or the global market related situation, you can buy at the lower levels again to average down. Then again, uh, aim for rebounds further. But in general, still we cannot talk about any breakage of the descending channel, but we can still talk about trading within the channel. And what happened today is of course dramatic move, but speaking of general trading strategies, not much changed in a sense we are still remaining in the channel. You see it, we are just stopping there. We might still slide down further with it, but we are remaining there. So you can just buy lower and still return to the top of the channel. Being said, these are three levels to buy. Thinking of how to buy through, well, uh, it's a classical five portions play here. So for those who are the first time at our channel, they know what it means. It means that you can buy Actually, um, when the money you would like to play, you can split in five portions and then you can buy with one portion in the first channel. If the price declines further in the uh, primary level of 11.35, 11.99 is broken we, and we will go lower, so slide down with this um, gray uh, descending pattern, then you can buy at 10, 10.75 with two portions. And of course, if there is again any negative news or catalyst could be not only news related to the company, but also global market situation whatsoever. You can buy with the remaining two portions there lower than 969. And then you can again, while others will be exiting with losses, you can just prepare to make the profit and sell at the profit 10 to 15% from the all money allocated in the position. Why uh, this way of trading? Because uh, this is for midterm, um, and as you can see, we don't discuss any stop loss or cut loss situation. We just buy through non-linearly. So this is the way of trading where we trade on daily candles. We are okay to spend a little bit more time, but we don't want to see any cut loss. So we don't pay with money for the to gain time. So to, to gain time to gain time to buy again, which is actually stop loss initiative, a stop loss strategy. And uh, both strategies are valid, of course, but with the, within this one, we don't look really for very fast trading on 15 minute candles. We just do it for daily principal levels that I discussed here. And idea is to optimize uh, losses versus profits such a way that you exit with a profit or with a minor loss or with actually draw at the end of the trade. So we don't want to see any negativity at our brokerage account. With this being said, this is the way to trade here. That's how we would do. According to opinion videos, if you like this opinion, uh, you can follow it, of course, if not, not, uh, you are the boss. But if you like this way of analysis and you want to see more about other US-based stocks that we uh, analyze and take for tracking for our own trading, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks.